check one two check one two hey everybody welcome back to my podcast this is the third episode of my podcast and i have a very special episode for you it is a march madness preview slash a nfl free agency recap but before we get into that i would like to say thank you for uh supporting me uh, listening to it and giving me feedback so thank you very much and just a heads up this podcast i'll try to make it kind of shorter than usual it's probably my third or fourth time recording it so i'm kind of tired it's past twelve thirty a.m kind of tired i recorded a whole episode before this my voice didn't sound too well. I didn't sound that well. And yeah, let's get right into the podcast. With the favorites of the March Madness tournament, I have Duke, Michigan State, and North Carolina. Duke, uh, they have the Zion Williamson. They have Coach K. They have RJ Barrett. They have Cameron Reddish. And yeah. Uh, probably the best team in the country while well, at full health. And they're going into the tournament at full health, right? Yeah. Zion came back from uh, a knee injury just a few days ago, and he dropped 31 today, or yesterday, on North Carolina. And yeah, that pretty much sums up Duke. Michigan State, they're a good team, great depth. Great defensive team, good defensive, good defensive, great defensive team, good offensive team. They have a great coach who is hungry for a tournament run and hungry for a ring. Uh, yeah, they have Cassius Winston who always does his thing. And this team, I think, is a top three team in the country this year. And the last favorite I have is North Carolina. North Carolina, I believe, is the deepest team in the in the tournament, uh, they have Roy as his coach. I forgot his last name. Sorry for that. You could roast me in the comments if you want. Uh, Kobe White, super freshman. They have a great offensive rebounding team with Luke May. And that pretty much sums up North Carolina. Let's get to our sleepers. Uh... We got three sleepers, just like three favorites. We got Florida State, Cincinnati, and Auburn. Uh, let's start with Florida State. Florida State is a sleeper this year. They usually are a sleeper in any year. But this year they're extra sleeper because they're kind of overshadowed by Virginia, Duke, and North Carolina in the ACC. Uh, those, th- those three teams are potential one seats. While Florida State's probably a mid, a mid level seed, I guess. Uh, Florida State just beat Virginia comfortably. So they they could obviously do some damage. They're a good team. They play Duke tomorrow or today. Uh, yeah, <laughs> they play Duke in the ACC championship. They're a great team. They're kind of get overshadowed. Yeah, Cincinnati. Uh, I don't know much about Cincinnati, but they're always a top. 5 seed in the tournament. They play in a good conference, that being the American Conference with good teams. Uh, that conference could, every team in that conference could easily compete in a Power 5 conference. And yeah, I don't really know much about them. I don't even know why I put them there. But the last uh, super team we have is Auburn. Same thing with Florida State. They get overshadowed by the big three in the SEC, those teams being LSU, Kentucky, and Tennessee. Uh, This team is very good offensively, can shoot the ball very well. Very dangerous team, can knock off any team in the country with their scoring. Uh, We're going to move on to the overrated teams. You got Gonzago, Wisconsin, and LSU. I'll leave Wisconsin for later. And let's go straight to Gonzaga. Uh, Gonzaga, they're overrated. They play in a weak conference. It's just simple as that. They don't really 
play anyone in the in mid late regular season. They'd even win their bum ass conference tournament. They lost the St. Mary's. I mean, that does not look very good. They did beat Duke at the beginning of the year, though. With Duke being fully healthy. So, they have that going in. But they're still overrated. They really don't play anyone. <laughs> this team could make some moves, but they're still overrated. Uh, LSU, they're overrated. They used to be underrated for me. But they're kind of lucky. Uh... They got lucky against Tennessee. They got lucky against Kentucky. Is that bars? I don't know. Uh, Yeah, I don't know if they're going to be in the tournament because they have to vacate it because they have to vacate their SEC championship because uh, apparently they paid players, so they suspended a coach. They suspended a player, I'm pretty sure. And they're not looking good going into the tournament, so they're kind of overrated. I last pro- projection I saw them as a two seed. I'm like, what? No, but they're over it. I'm gonna talk about the hometown teams, that being Wisconsin and Marquette. Wisconsin, I'm just gonna say it. They're not that good this year. They're overrated. And Ethan Happ, he, Ethan Happ is overrated. He's been overrated probably since his sophomore year. Uh. Not a good team. They both are. Other, I can connect them to the Packers, man. The Packers are frustrating to watch, just like the Badgers. They blow leads and everything. Uh, then we we're gonna go on to Marquette. Marquette's pretty good. Uh, other than these last few weeks, they've been pr- very good. They struggled these past few weeks, but. I mean, what can you do? Uh, Two seed in the Big East. They'll be ready for a tournament. They could possibly make a deep run going into March. Or going into April, I guess. Uh, Moving on to players to watch. Uh, This is going on quick. But we got Kyle Guy from Virginia. Uh, He's a player to watch. Probably the best guy on Virginia. One of the best guards in the country. Uh, he's not going to let an embarrassment, like, to happen to them, like, last year's tournament. He's not going to let that happen. I think he's hungry for a deep tournament run. And he's going to do whatever it takes to get there. Um, then the next guy we have is probably the guy with the best name. Ignas Brazdakis, Brazdakis. What a last name. Just what a last name. You, Everyone wants that kind of last name, don't you? But he's a player to watch. Uh, he's a killer. K-I-L-L-A, killer. Score the ball at will. If he gets hot, he is very hard to stop. Can hit the shot from anywhere on the court. I have trouble stopping this man. Just that's all I have to say. Have trouble stopping Braz Dacus. Uh next on the list we got t- the hometown hero, Tyler Harrow. See what I did there? But I'm s- winky face, winky face. Uh yeah, I got the hometown hero, Tyler Harrow. He's from Milwaukee. Uh Wisconsin fans ate him. I don't really hate him. I don't really mind him. I actually like his game. He's very good. Very good freshman. He won SEC Newcomer of the Year, a.k.a. SEC Freshman of the Year, basically, but whatever. Uh, Same thing with Braz Dacus. He's a killer, K-I-L-L-A. Very good jump shot, very wet. He has a straight pisser of a jump shot. And, yeah, if he gets hot, very hard to stop. He can spill over 25 tonight. If he gets hot, Kentucky's going to be very, 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 very hard to beat. And then we got Marcus Howard from Marquette. Same thing with Tyler Heron, Brostakis. He's a killer. K-I-L-L-A. 
He's not that good defensively, though, but who gives a shit about that? Marcus Howard gets, if he can drop 40 a night, that's not going to happen. That probably won't happen, but if he can if he can get hot, uh, Marquette can make a deep run in this tournament and just straight up outgun their opponents. Uh, if he gets cold, though, sorry, Marquette, try again next year. Uh, then the last guy we have in our name, that is a godlike name, Roy Hachimura. Hachimura, the Japanese superstar from Gonzaga. A uh, great defender, good offensive player. He's a walking bucket. Um, yeah, he's a killer. No, he's not really a killer. He's not that type of player. He is a... He's a walking bucket, not a kill. Two different types of players. But, yeah. Uh, if he has a good tournament, Duke will... Or not Duke. Gonzaga will do pretty good. And yeah. Uh, teams that I... Yeah, we're going to move on to teams that I could see winning it. We got a few teams here. Duke, like I said, Coach K, Zion, Cam Reddish, RJ Barrett. Uh, done it before. And... It's Zion, man, but probably the number one pick. He wants her in. He loves basketball, and Duke's, Duke has a big chance of winning. Michigan State, like I said, Tom Izzo, Mac McQuaid, uh, not Simpson. Uh, what's his name? Cassius Winston. Uh, great defense, good offense, great depth. It's time for a Michigan State championship run. I think it's done. Uh, UNC, Roy, the coach, he wants another one. Uh, they've, they've been here before. They've done it. They're, Kobe White wants it. Luke May, great depth, best depth in the country. Uh, Michigan, uh, they, they're full of killers. <laughs> uh, they have Jordan Poole and Braz Dacus. They also got uh, Simpson. Simpson will do his thing too. Uh, Michigan, they were so close last year. They're hungry again. I think they have a better team than last year. Sure, they lost Mo Wagner or Mo Wagner. But they got Bras Dacus. Like, come on now. Bras Dacus. Uh, Virginia, Kyle Guy. He's sick of the bullshit that's happening in Virginia. He wants a, he wants a championship run. So does everyone else on Virginia. Uh, Green Bay alumni coaching it, so they'll do obviously good. I don't even know his name, but whatever. Um, they're still a one seed. They'll, they'll do good. Uh, they're kind of boring, but whatever. Kansas, why do I even have Kansas on here? I don't even know. Is Kansas a championship contender? I don't know. They have this guy who I like saying... His name's Asaboki. Great center. Uh, just still Kansas at the end of the day. Kansas always has a shot. That's all I have to say. Tennessee, they don't have the deep runs experience as other teams do, but they have this. They have talent. Uh, they are basically all seniors, and then their best players are all seniors, basically. And this is their shot to win it. They might just make a run for it. Never know. They definitely have the talent to win it. Kentucky, they're Kentucky. Kentucky always has a shot at one. You know, I don't care who the fuck's on the team. Uh, yeah. Kentucky, they have Tyler Harrow, Calvin Johnson, P.J. Washington. Super freshman, they have Coach Cal. Coach Cal's not even... He's he's a better recruiter than Coach. <laughs> but yeah, never count out Kentucky. Then we got Gonzaga. Most likely going to be a one seed. Um, yeah. They have Roy Hachimura. Probably the best Duke... Not the best Duke. Best Gonzaga team in years. Sorry. I've been kind of effing up on these names. Uh, it's just... It's pretty late here, and I've been talking for like two hours. <laughs> yeah. Uh, prediction? I'm going to go with Michigan State. Why? I have a feeling. 
I, I always go predictions on feelings. Why not? And that pretty much does it with the March Madness preview. Yeah, I'm a certified bracketologist. So, everything I say is right. And, yeah. I'm also a certified NFL analyst. So, that's why I'm doing an NFL free agency recap. Even though the free agency is not even done. But, I do what I want. Antonio Brown to the Raiders. This certainly isn't a, a signing, but... It's a trade. I don't know. Browns. Why am I saying the Browns? Oh my god. I'm sorry. But, but the Raiders. I don't know why they did this trade. But I get. They seen. A, B. For a, like a fifth round pick. And like yeah. We need to take him. I don't blame them for taking him. But it doesn't really make sense. I can trade Cleo Mack. And all your good players. Just the sign, just the trade for Antonio. I don't know. They can do, do whatever. Do whatever. That's all I have to say. Uh, OBJ to the Browns. Uh, my friend, who is a Giants fan, is not so happy about this trade. That's, yeah. Uh, Browns low key finessed. Not low key, they high key finessed the, the Giants. Uh, the Browns offense is absolutely stacked now for the future. Uh, yeah, people people forget. They have Baker, best rookie quarterback last year. They have OBJ, Jarvis Landry, David Njuku, Nick Chubb, and Kareem Hunt. People forget Kareem Hunt, but he is on the Browns. Yeah. I don't know what the freak the Giants are doing. But, hey, they see DK Metcalf and be like, yeah, we need him. Trade away after you go. Uh, Living on to the Jets. I don't have really much to say about this, but Levion got his payday. He's had a side out a year for to get it, and yeah. Then we got Big Dick Nick. Big Dick Nick Foles. He is joined the Jags. Jags got their Lord and Savior. Uh, statistically the best quarterback in postseason history, according to QBR. And yeah, Jags got their man, and maybe they'll go to the Super Bowl. I don't know. It's big dick, Nick. He can do whatever. Other notable signings. Mark Ingram and Earl Thomas to the Ravens. Earl Thomas got his payday. Mark And Mark Ingram, and he's still a top running back. People forget that. Uh, Adrian Amos goes to the Packers from the Bears. Great sign for the Packers. Ha Ha joins the Bears. Great sign for the Bears. Golden Tate joins the Giants to replace Odell. Okay, I don't know. What are the What are the Giants doing? And D four to the Forty ers I have really nothing to say about that. Uh, let's go straight to the questions. Uh, Roman asks, thoughts on Marcus Tarkington? Ah, uh, good guy. Uh, has never scored against me in Madden, even though we played a total of three minutes against each other. He has never scored against me. I scored ten points on him, and he has scored a big fat zero against me. Uh, you can make of what you want with that, and yeah, good guy. Uh, when is Pat coming on, asks Augie. Probably never, if we're being honest. And Summer Plans asks Julia, uh, continue to be great. That is my Summer Plans. Uh, if we're being honest, these questions suck to ask, other than Romans, because I could just hear Roman's voice in his question, which makes it funny, but the other two, come on now, you're slacking. Let's get the questions up. And yeah, spring break is coming up, and might as well record a lot of podcasts during break. So if you want to be a guest, message me. Uh, thoughts on the name Stellar Talks? Is it good? Bad? Booty cheeks? Message me. Uh, oh, you can always suggest a topic, just like Jackson did with the March Madness preview. Thank you, Jackson, for the good idea. 
And last but not least, sub to my Twitter, at CorbinBL. Yeah, I always have to plug the Twitter. Bell Bell, do it. Corbin out.